The most common application of rectifier circuit is to convert an AC voltage input to a DC voltage output. So in this video I will simulate half wave uncontrolled rectifier with a capacitor filter using MATLAB simulating. The purpose of using the capacitor is to reduce the variation in the output voltage and to make it more like DC. So let's go to the MATLAB simulink. You can use either library browser or you can do it by right clicking on your mouse then type the name of element. We need an AC voltage source A diode. Click on diode specialized technology in fundamental blocks and power electronics. For the capacitor, type series RLC range. Double click it and from range type change it to C. For the value of capacitor, Enter 100 mu farad. Apply it and click OK. To rotate the element first selected, then press Ctrl key plus R. Now connect the circuit. Double click on voltage source. For peak amplitude voltage, uh, enter 120 uh, SQ root of 2. Keep the rest as default values, apply and click OK. Double click on diode. These are the internal parameters of the diode. No need to bring any chains. I just want to remove the tick marks of the show measurement port. Click OK. The capacitor here works as a filter which is a part of rectifier circuit. Uh, to represent an external load, let's also add a resistor. Series R LC branch. Rotate double click it from the branch type select r let us enter 500 ohm for resistance apply and click ok to measure the input voltage source uh, we need to voltage measurement Connect it to the input source. Add a voltage measurement for the output. Let's also add a current measurement to measure the diode current. Connect the series to diode. To see the waveform of input voltage source, output voltage and the diode current together, we need a scope with three input measurement ports. Type scope, right click it, from signal and ports, select number of input ports. Click on 3. Then connect the output of your each measurement port to the scope. Finally, add power GUI block. Since the element of our circuit is belong to fundamental blocks of the power system. 
Let's change the running time to 0 0.04 skin. Now run the circuit. Double click on the scope. Now you can see how our waveforms look like. This waveform shows the input voltage. This is the output voltage. And this one is the toy current. To see them separately, click here and select three empty square from here. As you can see, the circuit is energized at t equal to zero, and the toy becomes forward bias as the source becomes positive with the diode on and the output voltage is similar to the source voltage and the capacitor getting charged until the input voltage reaches its positive peak as the source decreases the capacitor discharges and the diode at this time is reverse biased and simply it turns off the effectiveness of the capacitor filter is shown by the variation in output voltage. And this variation, which is expressed as the difference between maximum and minimum output voltage, is called peak-to-peak -peak ripple voltage. Um, by increasing the filter capacitor C, the output voltage ripple is reduced. Thanks for watching.